Hey guys, what's poppin'? It's your girl Destiny, and today I'm gonna be playing Control. Now, little background information. I never played this game before. I didn't really read a description about it. I did have it in my library for a while, and I decided I was just gonna go and play it, see what it was about, and I thought I would record it while I did it. Um, so I have no idea what it's about. This is going to be low-key like a blind reaction trying to predict the story as we go along and um yeah i think it's gonna be fun so let's just stop the talking and let's just get straight into it fair warning this is gonna be weirder than usual okay can't be helped you called me Tell i didn't call you you called me I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. She's talking to me like I'm her ex-girlfriend. I found her ex-boyfriend. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. Okay. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. Federal Bureau of Control. The, the picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Oh, who's this? Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. Prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different for each of us it can be beautiful oh i don't trust him because he don't got any lips we're all transfixed but it's all a lie you know if you don't have any lips that means you lie a lot from the truth they're lying to us <laughs> we're lying to ourselves the room's not the world the world is much bigger and much stranger Okay, so this has to be like about the government behind that poster that leads to the real world. And like they're hiding something that affects humanity. Oh, that looks like the the FBI seal. from behind the poster. That's definitely and the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Okay. What you about to do? Why did you bring me here? I didn't bring you here. Hello? Okay. We're we control. Here? We're being watched. There's cameras on the wall. No security. I just walked in here like I own the place. Okay. I'm just jumping on everything. Okay. What we got here? Prohibited items. Reminder. Reminder. Certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder on prohibited materials. Weapons, pages, laptops, smartwatches. Oh, you can't bring your Apple Watch in here? That's crazy. Smartphone. You literally can't bring your iPhone. Or your PlayStation. Or anything smart. Uh, it says anything smart. Can't bring... What What they got against number two pencils? Okay. What kind of stuff is this? You can't even bring your phone. Or a pencil. But can you bring mechanical pencils? Alright. Multiple contaminant breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Okay, we're on lockdown. This is unsafe. But I'm just gonna investigate anyway. Alright, upstairs. Okay. 
what did I just find? Research records. <laughs> Staffing surveillance data center. So this is the the bureau spending, the accounting department. Was it Hillary Clinton that had like she was buying stuff? What were her emails about? Oh. Okay. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. What? Girl, huh? What are you dreaming about? Does she work here and doesn't remember that she works here or something? Because how does she just pop up? L3. Oh. How does she just pop up in the Federal FBI office? Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. I wonder if they're trying to say something about the FBI by calling it the Federal Bureau of Control. Or if this is just something different entirely. Oh, this is the guy that was on the wall. The guy with no lips. <laughs> yeah. Why do they have a picture of a janitor? What is this? Wait, what is this? Our bureau at work? He's mopping the floor. <laughs> what is this? I think that's the same guy with no lips, but okay. I guess. I digress. Um... I can't crouch. I don't want to miss any clues, but like... I'm not really good at clue finding. Because I'm kind of impatient. Okay, here we go, here we go. Correspondence. Everything is blocked out. A shark in his shoot to kill. Who we shooting to kill? Everything's redacted, so I don't even know what it's about. Okay. Is there lights in here? Um... Okay, I don't really care. Uh, let's see. Oh, what the hell is that? Who's singing? Didn't you hear we're under lockdown, sir? It's probably the janitor at work. <laughs> Oh, yep, that looks like him. That looks just like the photo, too. <laughs> okay. What if he's a zombie or something? I don't know. I, ha I don't know anything about this game. I'm kind of, like, blind playing it. There you are. We're here about the job. Janitor's assistant. Why does a janitor need an assistant? Interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. Don't oh, he's giving? Huh? Is he German? What is this? He's scaring me. I've done enough night shift loaner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Friendly? Somebody there is nothing friendly about that face, but okay. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, 
That's him. Right. So I don't know why you were saying he was friendly. Because that don't look friendly. Okay. Proceed deeper into the bureau. More pictures of this lipless man. Wait. Is this where I just came from? This is where I just came from. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh, I just got, <laughs> I just got an insane text. Okay, let's take up, let's the take this, the elevator. The poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? So who's this you that she's talking about? Because, oh, that was the intro? Courtney. Oh, okay. Oh, we're just gonna get a nice little introduction. Okay. So, so far, it's kind of sketchy. I think this is the FBI that we're trying to infiltrate and figure out who this lipless man is. The janitor is our friend for now. Um, I don't know what we're looking for. I don't know why the FBI is under lockdown. But something they're doing is not kosher. Not up to OSHA standards for sure. <laughs> so, can I skip this? Oh, I can. Great. <laughs> okay. I'm intrigued. I don't really know what to think, but okay. Did I up the elevator. You did. You really did, because that was a long... Dylan. Oh. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Oh. Okay. I can see your motivation now. But how do you didn't know it was the FBI this entire Oh, let me stop. The FBC. Yeah, we don't have clearance to that. But we have clearance to these doors that open by themselves. Okay. Let's see here. Terminology. I don't know if I want to keep reading all of this stuff. I'll be here for a while if I read all these clues. Or whatever this is. What? Alaska? Avoid saying loss and apologies. Yeah, they're doing some shady shit. I can't open that door just yet. But maybe I can find like a key or something? Oh, what the hell was that? Investigate the no- Why would I do that? I don't even know if I can fight people yet. Investigate- Okay, I guess we have to investigate the noise. Shit. Shit, shit, oh. Shit. Is this the lipless man? He just offed himself. The murder weapon? Really? Who are you talking? Are you talking to me? I didn't tell you to do anything, sis. You wanted to investigate this. Something's outside. Oh, well, then I guess you better... I guess you better pick it up if something's up inside. It's okay if we frame you for murder. It's all right. What? And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, 
The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, look at this place. Where am I? Where did I just go? Like, picking up the gun clearly did something. I feel like... Is this like... All this stuff is like pre-written and I'm trying to change... The course? Because I'm in an astral plane. Like, I just did some Doctor Strange stuff. And I... The concepts... The service weapon. Oh. Okay. Found out how to jump. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't die. <laughs> okay. I, I wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. Um... Okay. What is that? Is that a demon? What is that? Melee? Oh yeah, I'm about to go and fight my demons in my sleep. That's my sleep paralysis. <laughs> it's <this> demon? What? <laughs> so I have to fight the demons the to get gun. to the gun that I just picked up? Oh, control the gun. Right. Okay. Now I have a gun. Fire service weapon. Oh. Mm -hmm. Bang bang. Oh, I thought it would have one shot at them, I guess. Oh, I suck. <laughs> We're just gonna slide past that. Okay. Oh, okay, so we regain ammo when not in use. What did they drop? Nothing. Oh, you better get out my freaking way. Oh, I punched like a... Damn, call me the Hulk. I don't need this gun. I can just punch him. Oh yeah, I'm dead in the zombie apocalypse. If I can't punch him, it's over. Okay, so, um, slight pause. My camera died, so <laughs> I kind of have to start over from this section because I wasn't paying it. Oh. I wasn't paying attention, um, so I died. So it's having me, like, start from checkpoint. My bad, y'all. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, that saved me. <laughs> I kind of got excited. We're, we're not going to make any stupid mistakes like that anymore. We're, we're going to keep it going. All right. So. Just going to body these guys with my palm, I guess. I don't even know what she's doing. Is she palming them? Or actually punching them in the face? I don't know, but this one has a gun. Bitch. Oh, bitch. All right. Though, their guns are much bigger than mine. Is that it? Oh, what's this? You. Hear that? Yeah, I heard it, girl. I'm here with you. It's the dead man. 
The dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. Wait, does that mean you I become what? the director? I'm happy. Happy to be here. Well, at least one of us is happy, because this is stressful. Um, down outside. Is it safe to go? Uh, probably not. But, like, we just went into an astral plane. Sleep demons were trying to kill us with guns. Like, that's different. Usually they just... <sighs> at you, but... They got guns this time. So... Uh, let me search this dead body. Does he got anything on him? Can I... <laughs> Let's stop. Let's not overkill him. I'm already stepping on his corpse. Okay. So it's safe to go back outside. Oh? What in the world is that? That was definitely not there. You can't let this happen. You can't let oh. this happen. You can't let this happen. Am I? You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You stopped it. You. Thank you. That Girl, was... I didn't do anything. Horror. Right, but now there's. Get the fuck away. Great. Do I even know if- can I crouch? Is there- oh, okay, I can crouch. I'm just shooting. I mean, the game's telling me they're enemies, but what if they're not? What if I'm actually the enemy? Because I'm in the bureau. Like, these guys look like security guards. They look like they're doing their job. I look like I'm trespassing. So... Did I just commit mass murder? Because those didn't look like demons. Those look like regular people. Oh. Damage boost? Okay. I want to know what these little things on the floor are. I can't pick them up. I don't know if they're like XP. But I don't think I can open this door still. Right. But... Uh, I probably would be able to if I can get into this office. Oh. Wait, I was already in this office. Let's see if there's something else over here. No. Proceed further into the bureau is my objective. I don't know if I can come back to that. Or what's over here? I can't even get through that door. Interesting. Mm. We've already- I'm just <laughs> throwing everything down. Okay, so where is this alarm coming from? Let's start there. Why can I see the direct line? Says the dead Is man. the director inside okay. of my head now? Because I picked up his gun. Like, is it some type of split consciousness type of thing? I'm not really sure. Um. Let's see. Oh, more of these people. But you know what's actually kind of crazy is that Don't get back up. What's actually kind of crazy is that this place is on lockdown and all of a sudden these people are coming out of the woodworks. Where were they when I was literally breaking and entering into this place? Okay. 
Oh, what's this? Oh, what was that? Oh, my aim was trash. Something like flew towards me on the ground. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> okay. I was not expecting to see that. Oh. I was not expecting that, but yeah, we'll get the, uh, oh, was I in this room before? Cause why are people just suspended in air? What is this? I thought the guy in the room hung himself, but everyone's just kind of floating. We all float down here, Georgie. Yeah, I think it's XP, because it kind of is floating towards me. Wait, did that open? Oh. What's this safe here? House memory. Okay, undefined... I don't have clearance. <coughs> oh! Excuse me. I don't have clearance to view that. Okay. Um, uh, containment procedure. Wait, so this gun has like powers or something that I picked up? Oh. Objects of power. Oh, yeah. No, we saw this. I get it. Objects of power, which is what I'm holding. I'm holding a powerful gun here. Oh, I could just close the door. I'm doing a lot cuz I want to I want to explore, but then I kind of want to figure out some type of key piece of information. There's people chanting, and I don't know how I feel about it. Dinner reservations, okay. I don't know how further into the bureau I can go. Shitter. I want to know who's talking. Reminder if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, okay. carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. Okay. Kind of confused about how they're treating this objects of power thing. Hissing sound oh. tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Oh, I'm talking to her. In like an infuriating I think that little when that little flash on the screen happens, I'm actually like telling her, no bitch, it's our enemy or something. Oh, I was clicking this. It's just a, a light.
these people floating is actually kind of creeping me out. Oh, why is she? She is slumped. Wow. Oh, this is the, the, the control thing. How do I get down there? Can I jump? Oh. Oh. Oh, they're all dropping. Did they just drop and immediately decide to kill me? That's insane. Oh, they've got grenades. Oh, he looks like he has... Oh. <laughs> um. So here's the thing. I don't think I'm ready for that. Because there's a lot. The guy was like armored or something. He had like heavy machinery. Sh machine gun or something like that. I don't think... Okay, so it says movement is critical to avoid sustaining damage. I don't think I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't expecting people to drop down, and I wasn't. Okay. I don't know if I want to do that again, because I don't think my pistol is good for that uh that scenario. We'll try it again. With our uh, newfound knowledge that we have. But. Oh. That, that was the bathroom. But I'm not going to have any high hopes. If not, there might be something else I'm supposed to do. Before going in that room. So let me just explore. Make sure. Cover all my bases. And... Oh, wait, no, I'm going back. My bad, y'all. I'm kind of a having a hard time keeping track of... stuff. Here we go. Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. Girl, I heard you say this already. Hiss. So what is this? Into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hungry. Okay, there's more stuff in here. What do we got? Urban legends. Visitor evaluations. <coughs> so it told me not to stand still, which I'm gonna try to not do. But that guy with the big machine gun wasn't really. Oh, <laughs> I thought like I I was under the impression that my little Hulk stomp out punch was going to do something and kill them, but it didn't do anything. Damn, that was my mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just kept running. I don't know. I got kind of big. <laughs> I kind of got big headed a little bit. I was like, yeah, I got this in the bag and I didn't have it in the bag. The bag actually dropped, fumbled, all the cash fell out. And now I'm broke. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Let's try to do this one more time. This is horrible. I'm actually trash at this game. But we'll try it again.
I don't know what I saw there. I got him. Third time's a charm, y'all. And then. Okay. Y'all, that was stressful. Okay, let's cleanse it. I'm sharing this with this. Okay, so this is the control point. The game is called Control. I'm doing something right now, for sure. You got a cutscene? I did it! We did it! We did it, sis! All heavy on the we. This was great teamwork. Even though you didn't really do anything, I did us? everything, but okay. With the Bureau. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. Uh, you don't know that. We do not know any of that. Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Just visiting, you break, broke and entered. Wait, what? Did I become the director because I picked up the gun? Like, I think that's what they're referring to because he was talking to me this entire time. Director. Wait, so you mean to tell me they were on the other side of this door and they just watched me, like, fight these things? I'm Emily. I don't trust her. I don't like her face. Somehow, this hostile force... This hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss, like the sound of poison gas leaking in. Oh, you have some really nice eyes. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. Oh. You are the director and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Right. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. Right? Wow. And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? Right? I, I'm not I have no idea. Yet. A janitor let me in. Who's you? Am I like her voice? Am I like her split personality telling her that she needs to do things that she doesn't need to do? I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Right, I forgot about your brother. Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by this. So, it is kind of a zombie thing cuz they're infected. Our options are very different. So, the people I sh I was Maybe shooting, were they infected or were they just regular people her. trying to kill me? I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agent. And then what's the things that are in the astral plane? Like are those two different things? But I can't trust her yet. Or rather the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. All right, you and this we. She keeps coming and lumping us together, and I'm just following her lead. 
I guess we are together. Push the hiss out. <coughs> Push the hiss out. Got it. What's in here? I should probably stop and like look at all these clues and stuff. But I think I got a pretty good base on what this game is on. Like, there's a zombie infecting demon thing called the Hiss. And it's clearly making people possessed and floating in midair. And. Oh, I. Oh, I can change my outfit! Oh, I'm wearing the same thing. It's clearly. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, that's different. Okay. It's making people possessed. I need to find my brother Dylan because he was taken by the Bureau. And I don't know if I trust that girl that was just talking to us. Okay. I think I got a good solid point on like what the plot is or what it seems to be the plot. So there, um, I am intrigued. I don't know what we're heading towards, but I know for sure that I don't trust the janitor. I don't trust um, that girl that was just talking to us. And I don't know if I trust the director who's talking to me. Like, I guess he's a part of me now because I picked up his gun. But I don't know what type of road he's going to lead me down. But I'm interested. I really want to find out what happened to our brother because, you know, she keeps talking about this we nonsense. So I guess it's our brother, not her brother. But we all know it's her brother. Um, yeah, so we're just going to uh, see what happens in the uh, next video.